Step 1. Surrender to your passion. I think the point when I finally surrendered to photography was when I decided to spend all the money I'd been saving up for a car instead on a camera. Everyone told me it was a lot of money, but I knew it was really what I wanted. Step 2. Practice. I was out every day exhausting my hometown of things to shoot, but I never quite did. Luckily, everything can be taken and looked at in a different way. Step 3. Get a guide. I found my guide sophomore year of high school, Mr. Klein. The photography teacher at my high school was a little wacky, but he knew pretty much everything there was to teach about both film and digital photography. But unfortunately, you can't teach some of the skills required for photography. So like I said before, you practice and learn them for yourself. Step 4. Visualizing the outcome. Some say the outcome of photography is just pictures. But once you learn to see photography differently, you see that it's a way of sharing new and fun things with the people who view your work. You can change the outcome just by changing what's within your viewfinder. Step 5. Play the edge. Photography is something you can do for the rest of your life, and your work lives on even when you stop. I'll never tire of photography because it's a connection I feel to the things around me when I do it.